A kind day to you all! I am Kinsmark, and this is my first 15 with Raid World War II. A cooperative shooter from some of the same people that made Payday 2, and I've heard that it's absolutely terrible. I haven't played it for myself though, so I'll save judgment until I can actually say that I haven't. Is that John Cleese? I just saw that! It Did John Cleese do audio for this game or something? Alright, anyway. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Um, I can play online, offline. Alright, I'll check the options. So, keys are rebindable. Alright. Uh, sensitivity sliders. Alright, cool. Separate aiming settings. Alright, so I can uh, change them independently. Uh, hold to run, hold to aim. I'll also enable hold to crouch, because I prefer that. Video options are a little scant, although advanced options are here, so that's cool. Um, FOV slider, detail distance. Cool. So. All of the uh, contemporary genre standard must-haves are present. So, how about sound? Alright, sliders for independent channels. Cool. And network settings. I can't tell what any of those mean, so cool. They're there. Anyway, uh, play online or offline. I think I'll play offline for now, because I'd like to figure out exactly the sort of game this is. Ministry of Gentlemanly... Uh, ungentlemanly Warfare. Controls office, uh, London, now. UK. John Cleese! I'm control, so, uh, listen carefully, please. Uh, you have my please full and undivided attention, sir. Is this. Hitler is winning. I can fix that. So, we need drastic measures. I assume that's you where I come in. You are those measures. You're the best, most capable killers we can find. Charming. Charming. You're the nine-year survivors, and you get the job done. The job that we need doing... Is winning this war. All Churchill right. has given us a mission. Attack the Reich any way we can. In short, set Europe ablaze, as it were. Our target, Hitler. That short Check. us crowd this nasty Nazi friends and everything they stand for. We will Awkward. be merciless. No, this isn't a gentleman's war. Blast their trains. Blow their can tell John had some fun with that line. Now, having read your files, I don't expect fellows like you to do this uh, purely out of sense of duty. Adorable. So little Nazi gold happens to go missing. No questions will be asked. I see. History won't remember you, but uh, your deeds will define it. I can certainly say Relax. my accounts shall remember that gold that just happens to go missing, though. So all are pleased in the end. Assuming the game is actually good. So let's see. Could it actually load the game? Can I learn how to kill Nazis? Because that is such a fun pastime, after all. Come on. One of these decades. I can hear things. Ah, there it is. All right, so let's see here. Um, <laughs> all right, his rifle took a little second to fully render in. So, create new profile. Select a profile class. Recon. Assault. All right. Could, could you speak up, ma'am? I can't hear you clearly. Insurgents and demolitions. Alright, so looks like each class has a couple of abilities. I'm just ignoring her because I can't hear her, so... Alright, health, speed, and stamina differences. And it certainly seems like the loadout is a little different for each as well. So your selection, demolitions... German? The hell does that mean? Can I actually play on the German side? Is that what this is indicating? I thought I was playing on the allied side. Maybe that's just something for later? I don't know, I can't tell. Or maybe that's for multiplayer, like competitive? Alright, um... I think I'll stick to Recon, because I generally tend to favor that in these sorts of games. So, oh, I see. So your selection, Recon British. So, ah, the Assault is American, Insurgent is Russian, Demo is German, so he's a turncoat then! Ah, I see! Alright then, alright. So... I'm an English sniper then. Alright. They are so proud of their capable snipers. Oh, I can change my nationality. Alright then. Hmm, interesting. So, oh, they actually have names. Sterling. This disgraced officer has the most military experience. His dry, wooden, upper class manners belie the fact that he is a ferocious fighter. Alright, so you're selecting a preferred nationality and character used whenever available. 
Equipped character customizations will be applied even when the server assigns you a different character. Okay. American! In the rough part of Chicago, Ribbit's a wisecracking tough guy. Raised in a family of gangsters, Ribbit learned early on that you had to fight to survive. I know that's not exactly a Chicago in accents. I, I can't really do Chicago all that well. So, I mean, you're just going to have to deal with the, the accent that I can do. So, the Russian, Kurgan, a Russian infantryman. His violent nature made him a hero of the Soviet Union until his experiences on the Eastern Front finally broke his mind. Certainly seems like the stable sort one might assign to such sensitive operations. German, Wolfgang, a model SS officer until the jealousy of rival turns the party against him. Now seeks to destroy the regime he once pledged his life to. Alright, so a little self-serving then. Alright. Should, should I go Chicago? Maybe. Maybe, maybe Mr. the rivet here? Nah, I think I'll stick with my, my initial. Mr. Sterling. Yes. Yes, yes. Could, could this lady that I can hardly hear at all, maybe please shut up so that I can actually speak for once. Alright. Ken's mark, character name, create. Alright, so straight into it. Uh, tiptoe down the alley. Eyes peeled for guards. Pop into the church. Marvelous. I do like that. Whoa, okay. Mouse sensitivity is uh, incredibly high. So. Cool. Alright then. Uh, tiptoe past the window. Um, that way. Looks like a guard up ahead. Stay out of sight. Not a peep, right? Alright. He is talking. I just can't hardly hear him. So, can I sneak past here? Alright. Can I shank the guard then? Yeah. There we are. Alright. Pick up the body, toss it into the dumpster. In he goes. Hiding a body. So. Heh! <laughs> He's so stiff! Alright, let's try that again. Uh, oh, oh wait, no. Oh, no, hang on. I thought for a second it would auto throw him in there. There we go! Alright. Close container. Alright, this is taking a while. Also, these textures, for a game that just come out, look a little, uh, lacking, a little dated, as though they were for a console several generations ago. Yeah. Alright. So, uh, objective is this. Alright, press F to take ammo. Alright. Enemies sometimes drop ammo. Got it. Arsenal OSP. Got it. Seriously, the audio balancing is so off. F lockpick? What? What am I? Oh. Alright. Any of you chaps see a church around here? That frame rate was so stuttery. Alright. Seriously, this, this fire effect looks a little PlayStation 1, doesn't it? Call of Duty, the original. Maybe a little Medal of Honor. Yeesh. Also, ooh, jeez, that, that head bob is so, like, wobbly. How do you suppose we get in? I don't know. Pick the front gate. Because I'm sure no one will notice me here. So then right there. Oh, I see how this minigame works. I just sort of lucked it the first time. I, oh. Oh. Kill the Nazis. Have they noticed me? I don't think they have. I got ammo. Did I get a gun from that one guy? Oh, I did. Okay. Cool. Let's do that then. Hi. Let's just pick off the one that isn't paying any attention. There we go. And a pop. So, one shot to the chest. Puts him down hard. Cool. Use your war cry to kill the Nazis? I have a war cry. So the thing I have... Uh oh Q to activate war cry. Um... I oh! Jeez! Hi! Didn't know you guys were here. Pop. And a pop. Oh, oh crap. Cover. Thankful that you are awful shots. Alright, let me also try my sidearm. A little C96 in your face. Whoops. So the sidearm is incredibly weak. There we go. And that's why they should have minded their own business. That's it, lads. Lads, plural. As though I'm speaking to the voices in me head, apparently. Because uh, I'm all alone. This is the single player tutorial game. Ah, Death's Door, eh? Delightful. Through here, me thinks. I know he's actually acted. I dare say we should start with a chain. I just can't hear him because the audio is so low, and I don't have this cranked down any lower than most other games. So it just seems like the the levels aren't correct because the character audio is so faint. All right, 
stick to my rifle because that sidearm is incredibly lacking in power. Alright. Anyone home? Anyone at all? Pick up medical supplies. Okay. That's an easy little mini game. I have to heal myself. Alright, I suppose we have to unbox some crates. So, uh, alright, cool. A little World War II unboxing. Got it. There I did. Allow me to introduce myself. I can hardly hear you, love. Mrs. White, and Control has asked me to supervise the raid project. As he now. You can use this radio to contact other raid operatives uh -huh. and join forces with them on missions. Cool. Likewise, they can use their radios to join you, should you choose to allow them. Jamming. Can I move on now? So it looks like fun things happened in here. I see a, uh, a little message. Yeah. Easter egg. For Uncle Adolf, aww, with love. It's a shame it didn't go off. So, let's see here. Right, right, propaganda posters. Charming, nothing like a little social mind control through control of the message. And, uh, oh, here we go. Unpack gear. There we are. Alright. Challenge cards can be used to make a mission harder in return for increased rewards. Alright. While booster cards can be used to give you a temporary advantage against the enemy. I had figured as much. Okie dokie. Uh, how about this? So, I assume this is my hub for operations. Between different raid members to take on missions. The more sartorially minded can also decide which outfits their operatives will wear. Customization center. Check. So, seriously, I've chosen a wreck of a facility that literally has a hole through to the sky because ordnance came through the ceiling as the place that I'm setting up shop. Because, I mean, I'm sure that thing could just never go off from the slightest provocation at all. That That's just... Ah, concerns are for the weak. All right then, uh, how's about this? The weapons bench is where you can upgrade mm -hmm. your armaments, and importantly, where you will choose your loadout before going on missions. I see. So I see a Thompson, a trench shotgun, a VAR, I think it's a Springfield, and a 1911. All American ordnance. Interesting. All right. Ability upgrades, skill trees, etc. So, how's about this? Can I get to the actual game, please? To be on the lookout for opportunities to misplace a little Nazi gold. Mm -hmm. If you do happen to come across some, you might want to consider using some of it to spruce up this place. I see. I can spruce up my incredibly temporary wartime operations hub using stolen Nazi gold that I could otherwise squirrel away into international funds somewhere and live like a king for the rest of my life with. Color me critical, I just, uh, I question the wisdom in that use of such assets. So just like in Payday, I can't just do all of this from a menu, I actually have to do it from stations in a menu area. Like, it, it's charming, except it's also cumbersome. So, alright, take dog tags, alright, RAID! Be sure to keep a lookout for the dog tags of fallen allied soldiers. Alright, can do. Collecting them will allow us to inform their families. Because that's what dog tags are for, yes. So they're additional mission rewards. Cool. You could have just told me that in a menu. Now I suggest you get some rest before embarking on your first mission. Mrs. White, over and out. Thank you, Mrs. White. Guten Tag. Oh, can I sleep now? Thank you. Cheers, love. Tutorial completed. 
Can I actually get to the first mission now? Because I can already feel that the title of this episode is Misnomer, because this is going to take a little longer than 15 minutes just to get to the game. Ah! Comrades, you're here! I'm dizzy with excitement. Makes Gorgon dizzy with excitement, yes. Yes, heavy ordnance. I understand, comrade. I get it. So it's all stocked now. All right. I didn't get shown around here the first time. All right. So I assume this is my means of getting around occupied Germany. Okay. All right. So yeah. Select mission. Can I just get to something? There's a giant airship with a Nazi scientist aboard. All right. Can I destroy it? Cool. All right. Odin's Fall. Dr. Maximilian Reinhardt, the lead scientist of the SS Special Weapons Program, is in Berlin after a botched attempt to kill him in Pianimunde. He has become a paranoid recluse and never leaves his personal airship. This airship, the Odin, is docked for refueling at the top of the Berlin's u turn. Go there. Use the Flakturn's refueling system to destroy the Odin and kill Dr. Reinhardt. Gain entrance to the flak turn, use the gas regulators to fill the explosion with explosive gas, detonate the gas, escape! Alright then! Difficulty. Normal. Play with Team AI. Check. Start. Because I'd like to actually show off at least a uh, complete mission for my first episode of this game, because I can't promise that I'll cover this in any additional episodes, because so far it just isn't charming me enough for me to uh, want to dedicate that amount of time to it. Uh, so, on, I'll just showcase at least Good the guys, core guys, of the guys, initial guys. experience for anyone that is interested enough to check it out for themselves. So, uh, yeah, challenge card? I don't think I have any. No, I do not. Um, what is that for? Is that just like chat for the match if I were doing multiplayer? I don't know. Start. Hmm. 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 This is rough. This is dated looking and it just came out I mean I know it's you know open beta it's not finished it's as finished as it's really going to get at this stage of development uh, developers really just polish out glitches and things and maybe adjust a few menus here and there like the core of the experience is already in the game so scout the area uh Huh. Alright, so unlike Payday, and apologies for all the comparisons to it, it's just it comes from some of the same people, so... I can't just, like, stay unmasked and assume they don't know who I am, so I think I actually have to approach this... ...stealthily. How will we deal with wall? Look around. That was incredible. Mm -hmm. Find a jewel bunker. So where exactly is my objective? Can I even see the airship from here? Is it in there? Is that like a hangar or something? Oop, 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 hang on. Don't see me, sir. Alright, I think I need to get in there. I could pop him from here. I just feel like that's ooh, probably a mistake. Considering this rifle is loud. Alright, let me actually switch to whoop, nope, not that. Not that. There we go. Knife. Get around. Ooh, he probably has an eye on me. Um, let's see. I'm actually considerably stealthier than I anticipated. Could you maybe move, please, sir? Could you move on? Just uh, continue on about your business. Maybe do a little more patrolling. Just jog on. Anywhere else, save here. There we go. I say, is it just me? Whoop! Shank! Like <laughs> Did they hear that? They heard that, didn't they? Crap, they heard it. Well, alright. Shite. I didn't know if they'd hear that. Apparently they did. That's a problem. That is a problem for me. Crap, can I even get in here? Oh, jeez. Alright, well, they aren't on the turrets. Is this even an area I should have approached at all? I cannot tell. Can, can I... Ah, jeez. So they left or something? Can I pick this? I can't do anything with this door. 
Okay, I don't think this is even an area I was supposed to come to. Oh, there are a lot of them. Okay, this could go poorly for me. All right. Here we go. Oh, crap. I am not dropping all of these guys in one shot anymore. Come on. Oop. Hold up, hold up. Jeez. Ah. Maybe recon wasn't an ideal choice. There we go. Stay down, please. Thank you. Do I have to actually... Oh, jeez. I have to intentionally grab the things they drop. Go. Ah, crap. I can war cry. I don't really know if I want to, though. Because we're actually starting to get this in hand. If nothing else, we're making forward progress. So. Crap, good shot. Whoa! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where did you guys all come from? Alright, sidearm time, because I need rate of fire. Ah! Jeez! Damn good thing my allies are here, because otherwise I'd have gotten jacked up. Ah, of course, this sidearm is damn near useless. Alright. So, whoa! Shot placement is critical for the sidearm, apparently. There we go. Whoop. Are they just going to keep coming? They are, aren't they? Is there anything I can do about that? Or am I just... Oh, crap. I'm completely out of ammo for the sidearm. Mm. Shit. Reload. This is an in-ideal situation for me. Ugh. Could you not? Oh, I, I can't seem to melee with a specified key. I think I actually need to hit the number key to select my knife. If I actually can, especially quick command, a melee attack, I don't know the key for it. There's a crowbar. All right. Crap. Reload, reload, reload. So, this went south almost immediately. How in the hell am I actually supposed to make progress here? Can I hit him through the gate? I can! Alright, cool. So the gate isn't made of invisible shield walls. Cool. I get in somewhere. Seriously, like, they say that no place is impregnable, except I can't find any way through any of these. Um, hmm. Place gas canisters at the bunker. Where are these gas canisters? Is it these? There we go, yeah, okay. Gas canister obtained. How do I, how do I put it here? Or, wait, am I supposed to put it... Over that way? Has that always shown up on my HUD and I just never noticed because I was too distracted with everyone friggin' shooting at me? Probably so. I did something similar the first time I played Payday and people rightfully called me out for that. Oh, so this is just pointing me to a stash of canisters. Okay, well then which friggin' bunker do I put it at? Do I put it at the one with the red light? How do I even select it? Is there a number key? Do I have to actually equip them, or will it give me an auto command whenever I'm close to... Okay, place the canister. Oh, they go right there. That's what those outlines are for. Alright, that was devilishly unclear. There we go, there we go. Um, come on, come on. Man, so I really did need to at least somehow occupy or take care of those guards, because there's no way they wouldn't notice me putting those cans within inches of their faces. Alright, any of you guys drop health, because I could use some. There we go. Can I have his STG-40, please? No, that's not. Mm. And there's the third canister. I sure would love it if the A's, I A's eyes, jeez, if the AIs even of my companions were adequate enough to, you know, maybe do the thing that I was here to do. Oh, apparently if you want anything done, gotta do it yourself. A little distance. Whoa, they are coming out of the woodwork. There we go. Now, shoot the canisters. Uh, sir, could you maybe get out of the way, please? There we go. So, wait for the guards to open the bunker. Um, I thought the whole purpose was for me to shoot the thing so that it would explode and it would knock it open. Is that, is that not what we were actually doing here? 
At least my rifle can one-shot these guys if I catch them in the chest, so that's handy. Ooh. He's having a fun time. Can you guys open up, please? I think I can sort of around here. Yep. Hey! Shut your face! Oh, crap. I thought he'd roll farther than he did. Alright. Reload. Have you guys opened up? You haven't opened up yet! I... What the hell? Oh, there's a timer in the corner. Alright. So I just have to wait these guys out. So, really, this was always going to go loud. Because as soon as that explosion happens, I assume all this essentially, uh, ooh, geez, wave survival stuff would have happened. Crap, 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 just get inside, just get inside. There we go. Come on, guys, come on. Can't afford to stay outside much longer. So get to the flak turn yard. Right. Anything in here we need to do? Nope. Alright, let's just go then. Okay. Alright, I actually expected a uh, scene transition there. Apparently not. We can just proceed from here. Do I, do I jump that? I assume I jump that. Hit! Alright, I have a super floaty jump. What? I need a crowbar. Oh. Open crate. Healy's good! Perfect. Exactly the thing I needed. Get that door blown. Right, got it. Hit! So, ammo. Good. What do we got here? Ah, crap. Uh huh. Cool. That's grenades. I actually haven't used my grenades all that much. So. Man, I should have picked up that damn crowbar. I didn't know what it was for. I should have grabbed it. Oh well. So now we're in the flak dorm yard. So now we. Put dynamite on the door. Okay. Damn. Can I make that explode? Apparently I can. It did fuck all, though. Okay. Whoa, hey, 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 whoa, hey, hey, sir. Could you maybe give a healthy distance? Alright, here we go. Blaze dynamite. Cover me, gentlemen. I have things to do for cleaning country. There we are. All done. Stand back and give it a mo. There we are. So, one minute timer. Jeez. Can I mount one of their guns? I can. I can't really move it, though. I can only cover the gate. So, that isn't helpful for me. So, already I can say that uh, it isn't as rough as I was warned of. However, I can certainly say that it doesn't feel any more robust than the creations of these same developers and does, in fact, feel a little cut down. And the environmental assets are... Oh, there's the airship. Jeez, I hadn't looked far enough up earlier, I guess. Um, they're a little dated, honestly. Like, the textures are lacking. The models are... Eh, alright. I mean, they're fairly notably low poly. The animations are alright. Alright, so that's the gate going up. Let's now get inside. Hi! Oof, oof. Alright, I gotta fight my way through these guys! Load up. Load up. Oh, crap. I think I just got a double. Alright. Saw you. Ah. Also, audio seriously, seriously sounds weak. Like, sands all of the clamor of combat for a second. Just listen to the shot of this rifle. Of course, everyone else starts shooting. Anyway. Ah! Ah! Come on, I need you lads to just shut off and die real quick so I can do this. See? For a rifle capable of downing a man in one shot, essentially the recon rifle of the game. He's in armor! Oh god! Oh no! Um, are you for real? Are are you are you completely 100 percent for real right now? You're gonna spawn. An enemy capable of downing me essentially instantly in an area where I can't retreat in any amount of ease because I, I tried immediately to pull away from him oh apparently my allies got him cool because like like I'm pressing the movement key it won't just like auto climb me up this from here because there's too much rubble in the way I have to kind of like navigate around so to immediately put me in close proximity to a character capable of decimating me at close range in a cramped environment like this, that's... 
it, it passes the point where it's challenging level design and starts just entering into cheap territory. Alright, hi. There we go. Could, could you guys maybe just screw off for a second? Also, this game is guilty of what a lot of others are, and that is that uh, its AI is absolutely stupid. It is suicidally aggressive. Just charge at the enemy, completely disregarding any semblance of concern for cover. That's, that's just, it's not convincing. It's also not, like, challenging. The challenge here is completely artificial, because they just keep up so much pressure, because they completely lack for any concern for their own safety that it's, it just feels very gamey and not convincing as a scenario. And that's a shame, because it doesn't have to go that way. Activate Warcry. Sure, let me do that thing, but I'm not sure what it does. And there we go, put it around in his head, and he just got shredded. Okay, cool. Grab some... Oh, hi. All right. I think now is a good little grenade time. Also, I am way sturdier than I think I should be. Considering I am an unarmored man, like th this is in the pre uh, vest for soldiers days, and, and yet I'm, I'm at this point I'm getting comfortable enough to just sort of stand out in the open, assuming that these guys will drop enough health for me to stay alive. And uh, they aren't exactly proving me wrong. I know this is the first mission at all, so it probably isn't as challenging as the things to come later. It just it's starting to feel, again, incredibly gamey. Like, what's keeping me alive is my health meter, not my tactics. And the thing for, like, World War II games is... I think the charm for a lot of people about them is that they are punishing. You can't just get lit up, because you aren't an armored super soldier. And yet this is sort of acting as though I am. Because you could make the argument that sort of the lead sponge characters made at least somewhat of a semblance of sense in, like, Payday. Because pretty much everyone in that game, characters and enemies alike, was wearing some amount of armor. So, you could at least hand wave, ooh, are you a friendly? Okay, yes, well. That they could take a few shots. That isn't the case here. Alright, open gas regulators. Got it. Let's do this. I wonder if there is a way to do this mission stealthily. Or if it just told me to start doing the loud things because I accidentally went loud. Wunderbar! Enough gas to blow up an airship. Right. Got it. So the airship is above me, because this is the maintenance place for it, right? Defend gas regulator. Right, so hole up in here. Oh, hi. Because they're a-coming! Alright! Guten Tag, mein Herrs! I'm afraid I have horrible news for you. The Führer's days are numbered, and so are yours. Yours are really less days numbered, and more minutes. So, uh, yeah. That's a concern for you. That's a concern. Yeah. You might want to make your peace with whatever god you worship, for you're going to meet him soon. Or her, you know, I'm not about to, to, to judge. Or if you are not about godliness, you're uh, about to fertilize this lush concrete ground. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's your fate. I'm sorry, gentlemen. I, I hate to uh, have to deliver the poor, terrible news. That's just, uh, that's the way of the world, you know? So, I can just pick these guys off as they attempt to get the gas. Ow, 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 ow. Someone is shooting me from a weird angle. Who is it? And could they stop? Ooh. Alright, I'm gonna need to make a run for health here in a second. So I'm starting to get a little perilously low. There we go. Can I make that explode? I'll wait until another wave comes. Actually, now is a good time for me to charge out and grab stuff. Go, 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 Again, apologies, I know this episode is getting longer than the usual for ANY episode in this series! Ah! I just wanted to show a complete mission, so... Here we are! Come on. Come on. Gotcha. Anyone else? Did he really just say, Pop Goes the Weasel? 
Ooh, I've heard multiple characters in multiple games, hey look, Duck Duck, try to deliver that line threateningly, and it never works. Not once. It, it just isn't an intimidating line. Writers, stop my, just, stop, stop, just stop. It isn't a good line. Stop trying to make it a line. Oh god, it's another flamethrower guy. I think that calls for Granata! Gr Granata? Alright, I'm out of Granatas. Hi there. He just, whoa, torched his own guys. I am on fire. Let me get over here. There we go. Could you maybe please just delve straight down into the fires that are already licking your arse? Here we go. We got this, 11 seconds. Pop him! Right in his hip. Pop him, right in his leg. Or maybe in the groin. So groin shots are an instant KO, good to know. And, uh, that's, I think, no, that, that is not a friendly. Pop him right in the chest. Starting to go a little holes here for a second, don't mind it. It's not a problem, not at all. You there, sir, please. Could you maybe just fuck off and die for just a second or two? Maybe. I appreciate it. Cheers. Thank you. Now then. Let's crack this off. How many more of these I have to do? Uh, open the gas regulators. So I gotta go up there now. Okay, cool. Oof. I'm not even one mission in, and this is already getting repetitive. That ain't good. That ain't good. Rein Zutritz. I don't know. I can't read that. Whoa. Uh -huh. Pop. Whoops. I really wish I had a melee key. Do I? Oh, apparently I do. Apparently E is the melee key, and the game just didn't teach me that. Because that's something tutorials are usually supposed to do. Okay, let's just do this. There we go. Alright. Don't let Jerry get near the control lads. Okay, whoa, that's a lot of guys. Of course, they're all coming through one choke point, so I suppose that's somewhat expected. Load up, load up, load up. Oof. My allies are dumb as a rock. All of them. Because they're just standing there. Seriously, is this what passes for AI design in 2017? I mean, these guys are operating a little uh, too close to period as far as coding expertise. Uh. There we go. Guys! You don't have a clear shot aiming through the concrete wall that you're clipping your face into, Kurgan! Jeez! I know I'm a little hard on this game. I, I know. I, I accept that. I'm willing to take the criticisms of people who think I'm judging it a little too harshly. That's fine. You know? You, you are entitled to your opinion, as I am entitled to mine, and mine is that this game isn't finished. It's in maybe alpha, this isn't even open beta level, cause look at it. Whew. Also, I mean... I, actually, I don't know. Whoa, whoa, again with the insta-gib from the flamethrower guy! Could that not happen, please? That is... Incredibly forced and contrived. All right, let me get me up. Whoa! Am I about to lose this? Because this guy just came out of friggin' nowhere. All right, just, just empty my sidearm into him from here. There we go. He's down. Good, 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 comrade. Help me up. Oh god, I think we're all down. We're all down, aren't we? Oh no. Oh no. So, all right. I uh, tripped and fell at the finish line. That feels appropriate, actually. So, comparisons to... Are you for real? Are we about... in the current political climate... today... to try to make Nazis and Hitler funny? with jokes that aren't even really jokes, just with eh, eh, comedic mannerisms. It isn't even slapstick, it isn't even clever writing. What happened here? It's crass, and not in the charming, like, ah, oh, it's just saying what other people are thinking and aren't 
you know, don't have the stones to say. Just like, no, it's not even like that. It's just in poor taste. Oof. So, I think I'd echo this sentiment right here to the developers of this game. Because I'm, I'm done with this. I'm, I'm done. Yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. John Cleese. I'm sorry, your talent was wasted upon this. <sighs> Can I just see... Okay, so there's only... The sh shut up, lady. There's only these missions available for the open beta. Characters, yeah, alright. I can make a few different slots. Can I customize them at all? Apparently I can. I can give them a few different outfits. Okay. These are things in the game, apparently. Okie dokie. Proficiencies. Okay, so these are the skill trees. I assume I need to level to gain access to the higher reaches of them. So that's a thing. Um, I don't think I can actually check the others, or is this just specific to my class? I can't tell if it is. Anyway, let's see. Anything else? Weapons? Can I... Apparently I can upgrade. I, at this point I'm just showing these off for anyone else that's more interested in this than I am. Uh, decrease spread, okay. I can at least appreciate the fact that all of these modifications are displayed cosmetically on the model of the weapon itself. That, at least, is a nice touch. So, apparently I need to reach a higher level to activate some of these. Okay. Um, can I change some? Ah, okay, cool. So I can check out some of the other available arsenal items in the game. So, there's an alright variety. Anemic, though, compared to a lot of others. And, oof, jeez, just the one sidearm, apparently. And a couple of knives. So that's it, at least for the open beta. I can't say I'm all that impressed, honestly. I, uh, I feel like... The game conflicts in that it takes itself a little too seriously, and yet not seriously enough as far as the cutscenes and set pieces and... the posts that hold up the thin narrative that it is at least trying to deliver aren't well conceived and the missions are eh, they're all right um ai design is obviously dated and lacking and hardly even there they just charge straight at you suicidally and that isn't convincing or charming or endearing in any way for me um again the assets for the environment are simple low res low poly count and the audio design is weak overall, including, I'm sorry to say, the acting for all the characters. I could hardly hear them, for one thing, so that's an audio issue unto itself. And the delivery for a lot of those lines was just really cut and paste. Ah, uh -huh, okay, he's the charming Englishman. It's just The whole thing feels very by the numbers, and... I feel like this concept could have worked. The, the idea of making a cooperative, you know, commando style, as in like the old World War II English intention of the phrase, uh, raid system in which it's set during World War II and one conducts operations against Axis targets. I feel like that could work. This just isn't it. Um, maybe once it launches, it will offer more robust content. Maybe it'll clean up some of the issues that seem pretty severe with it. And, uh, maybe it'll make up for itself. At present, I'll just say that it isn't acquiring, uh, any spot, really, on my list of games to get. Because it just hasn't impressed me. So, take that for what you will. Thank you all kindly for watching. I'm Ken's Worker, Lessable Press. Consider checking out our Patreon if you are interested to help us keep the show alive. And as always, I wish you all good gaming and Godspeed.